Hello everyone, Helen here. How are you doing? I hope you're okay. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to have a bit of a shorter podcast for you. I know I often say that, but it really is a bit shorter today because I've been having a very, very busy family time with one thing and another. Um, And I've just uh, decided just to make this in advance, actually, um, ready to go out after a very busy couple of weeks. So I thought you would like to um, maybe follow me through a typical day in my life. I haven't done that before and I've, I've often thought about it. So I've been uh, videoing just little snippets of my day. I didn't actually video everything in one day, but what, what you're gonna see is a fairly typical win- Wednesday. Yeah, it's just pretty much what happens on a Wednesday, although I mean, it's not always the same from week to week. Uh, There's only one thing in it that's not really typical, and that is that on one of those days that that I was videoing, um, I actually decided to have a bath at the end of the day. And um, so that's that's not a usual thing. I much more often have showers and then I have an occasional very relaxing bath, (laughs) as you'll see. Um, And yeah, but everything else is typical. It's also typical that I realised when I was looking at all my clips of video, there's, there's nothing of me doing any housework. I mean, obviously I do do housework, but um, yeah, when I really have to, <laughs> it's not my favourite thing to do. And I find it really, really hard to motivate myself uh, to do any housework, even though I love it when the house is nice and clean. Anyway, so you won't see any housework, but you'll just see see me taking you through the day from when I first get up to, yeah, the bath that I had at the end of the day. So I hope you'll enjoy seeing that today. I'm not going to pop in again at the end uh, to say goodbye, so I'm just going to do that now. And so I'm just going to wish you all the best and please look after yourself. Stay nice and busy and I will be back again soon. Okay then, bye. So my day starts quite early during the week. I'm the first one up and I make cups of tea. I think you can probably tell which is my mug and which one belongs to my husband. (laughs) I drink Earl Grey and he has English breakfast tea. And then I take my tea into my craft room and I sit and read. This has become my new time just for having half an hour of reading. And then when I go downstairs for breakfast, I also usually tend to the birds. So here I am about to top up one of the bird feeders and you will see when I go out into the garden that on this particular morning was the one morning we had where it was actually snowing right at the beginning of April and a bit of a continuity error is that in half an hour when you see me on my walk there's no snow and that's because it was the next day. (laughs) Anyway here I am hanging up the bird feeder and then once everybody's fed I go out for my walk. So, see, the snow's completely vanished. And I go out at about this time every day. Actually, it's a little bit earlier on a Wednesday because of something else that I do uh, a little bit later. But I'm really lucky to have these paths so close to my home. Some lovely countryside around. And it's always quite peaceful, actually. I don't meet many people at all, a few dog walkers, the occasional jogger, but otherwise I have a very peaceful walk. And then once a week I have to go and collect the veg bag. These are all vegetables which are grown locally, either just a stone's throw from where I live or, uh, you know, in the northeast. So most mostly they are. Um, and I'm never quite sure what we're going to get. Uh, so everything is seasonal and um, there are one or two staples in there that we always get. Um, 
but mostly it's just a surprise. So I, I quite like that. <laughs> in the veg bag this week. A bag of salad leaves. A bag full of kale. Oh, that's nice. Some eggs. We get half a dozen eggs each week just from local hens. We've got uh, a leek, a great big fat leek. We always get some kind of onions, onions or, it's not focusing is it? There we go. Onions or leeks or sometimes garlic instead. And then we have got a beetroot, a great big beetroot. Sometimes we'll get lots of little ones. Got some mushrooms, which are not grown very close by, the, um, but still in the northeast. And we've got some carrots, carrots, and then we always get uh, potatoes. Not always the same kind, but we always get potatoes. And then every Wednesday morning, 9.30, I do a yoga class on Zoom. So here I am preparing things. Not usually in the bedroom. Most Wednesdays I do it in my craft room, but on this particular day my craft room was too messy. So I have a lovely yoga teacher called Jo. And my favourite part is the relaxation at the end. And Joe has such a lovely voice and I just feel really ready for the rest of the day when I've got to the end of this relaxation. And then you'll quite often find me, um, most often find me in my craft room and I'll be doing a bit of writing, sometimes, sometimes in my bullet journal. Sometimes I'll be on my laptop doing emails. And of course, at the moment with my 100 day project, I always have a leaf to create, so I have, and I have managed to keep up with that so far. Just occasionally when I know I'm going to have a very busy day, then I do two leaves on one day. Mostly I've just been doing one per day. And then, nearly always at 12.30, I'm a creature of habit, <laughs> it's lunchtime and uh, have, um, yeah, and I'm, I have quite a routine of what I have on particular days of the week. And on this particular day, I was, I had scrambled egg on toast. And while having lunch, I am nearly always working on a crossword. So you can see me here with the, this is the Times Quick Cryptic which is much easier than the Times regular crossword. And after lunch, a nice quiet time, um, doing some crochet or knitting usually for a little while. Really enjoy that time. And usually I am listening to an audio book at the same time. And here I am then doing some piano practice. I always try and do a bit of piano practice before I start teaching in the afternoon.
and after that I start teaching. This is one of my uh, very new beginners. I'm busy learning a piece on the black keys and this is a face-to-face -face lesson but I still do do some uh, lessons online on, on Zoom which you can see here. And then it's time to get some food ready for our evening meal. Uh, it's not always me who has to do the cooking, but on this particular day it was my turn and I was doing a very, very basic meal. Just some vegetables and pies, mashed potato. and some onion gravy. Really nice. And then there's always a bit of time for relaxing and knitting or crocheting in the evening. Usually the television is on at this point. And then finally, this was the special treat on this day, it was a bath. Some gentle piano music playing. Some nice bubbles in the bath. And then time for bed.